So check this. I just had a call from my niece. My niece telling about this dude that's older than her that wants to holler at her, right? Whatever. So she tell me who the dude is. I'm like, damn, I went to school with him. He like 40 something years old. Plus, I know in the back of my mind, I'm like, wait a minute, that bitch man. So she tell him about all the stuff he's doing for her, getting her hair done, you know what I'm saying? Paying her rent, paying her car note, just bought some, you know, tires on her car. She just mentioned him for Christmas. She wanted another car. He was telling he was going to help her out, blah, 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 whatever, all this bullshit. So the whole time she's talking, I'm just thinking to myself of, you know what I'm saying? I know his old lady. I know his wife. Me and her is cool. We used to work together long years ago. But do I know that the wife is struggling. You know what I'm saying? Like they having financial problems that go half and half on bills, whole nine yards. See, this is what I be telling y'all about that whole 50-50 bullshit. Why? Him and his wife going 50-50. He over here trying, he breaking bread with my niece. This is what I be talking about. Y'all better get y'all shit together. Y'all gonna have half these niggas out here. They got it. And the other half that you, you not getting from him, he couldn't get a whole nother bitch. Bitch, get your shit together. Imagine if I listen what a hater gotta say. I never give a broke bitch any time of day. You ugly when you jealous, bitch. Look at that face. I'm hot right now when you not, okay? Oh, you big man. Oh, you big man. Got a big bag. Popping big tags. All white Rover. Yeah, whip that. And we're back. What's going on, everyone? This is Star. Welcome to the channel and happy Friday. How was your week? My week was great. Now let's get down to business. Today's main topic, 50-50 dating. Bottom line, if a man is demanding you go 50-50, guess what? He not into you like that. Because the woman he truly desires, he actually wants to marry her and take care of her financially. The reason why some of these men work so hard is because they understand that they have to compete for the women they really want. Some men don't want to compete. And that's why they bitching. You see, men get mad at the truth. When you tell the truth, they don't like that. And they don't like that you have choices when it comes to men. I don't know about the other women, but the men in my family actually give a damn. And they don't want me running around having babies out of wedlock. They don't want me laying down with the first man that thinks I'm cute. No. You see, some of the men on YouTube want life to be easy, while other men... They ready to compete. Where I live, Chanel is always packed with men. The Christian Louboutin store is always packed with men that are willing to spend on women. It may not be like that where you live, but where I live, the men are not complaining about buying a meal. And the thing is, the men that are complaining the most are the men that are in marriages and relationships. You're out the game. Or maybe you're not. You got to stop getting played out here, ladies, because guess what? When these men are putting all this effort to go into other countries, they're getting played. They thinking these women are stupid. And before these men get on the plane, these women are sitting down with their men, creating a plan to rob them. And guess what? If that woman puts too much in a man's drink, he's out of here. Do your research. I mean, the truth is out. The men are telling their stories while men are getting drugged in Colombia. Black women are getting drugged and violated here. And that's real. Ladies, you got to be careful out here. You can turn your neck for a second and somebody drop something in your drink. They can lean their hand over your drink and just drop something in it. But you can't see it because you're preoccupied doing something else. It's wicked out here in these streets, y'all. Be careful. And you better know who you are when you're running around in these streets. Because you are exactly who you think you are. Because if you're telling yourself you're all these negative things, guess what? That's what you are. And people treat you the way you treat yourself. So if you're constantly getting into relationships and you're being treated horribly, that's because you don't have enough self-love. And speaking of self-love, let's talk about the chef, the TikTok chef that got his brand deals taken away from him for hating on his own people. Oh, sounds like he doesn't have enough self-love. Of course, on Twitter yesterday, trolling as usual, and I come across some interesting tea. So I don't know if you guys remember, there was a viral video going around where this chef had made some oxtail pasta. I'm not gonna lie. It looked mouthwatering. I was like, damn, this is genius. Well, come to find out, Mr. Chef has a very sketchy past, specifically hit with his hatred towards black women, and not to mention, very colorist. So uh, bro got put all the way on blast. Like I said, what's done in the past always has a way of catching up. Like, look at this bullshit right here. Now this woman is beautiful. And this was so unnecessary. I don't understand why men, specifically black men who do stuff like this, I don't understand why y'all think this is funny. Cause it's not. Like, come on, for real, you comparing this woman to trash? 
but yet this is the person that you would expect that to support you i guarantee you most of the people that was actually following this man look like this woman here those of us in the journalism world we know him as attorney wayman wesley the second chef way is an assistant district attorney in harris county that's in the houston area so now some are asking did he deny justice to black women because of his hate did black women receive harsher sentences because he went for the juggler when prosecuting black women Here's the story. A popular Houston-based TikTok chef under fire accused of using social media to harass and attack black women after a series of old tweets resurfaced. But Chef Way, as he's known on social media, also a prosecutor with the Harris County DA's office. And tonight, many are calling for him to lose his job. They're trying to send a message to all the black men. They're going to make an example out of this chef. And we all know that YouTube is probably paying close attention. At some point, YouTube is going to say, okay, no more hate on this platform. And what are you going to do, black men? Where are you going to pivot to? Business? Sports? Crypto? What are you going to talk about? YouTube doesn't mind getting rid of channels. And have you noticed all the celebrities on YouTube? It's a lot of celebrities on this platform. And they are professionally trained to take over this platform completely. You know, you have YouTube warning everybody about cursing. And before you know it, they're going to be telling everybody, hey, cursing is no longer allowed. Don't be surprised if some YouTubers are in the same boat as Chef Way. This chef not only lost brand deals, but now his career is in jeopardy. All because of his self-hate. And it's a damn shame. And he don't got nobody to blame but himself. If he is allowed to continue his law career, he's going to become a big distraction. Every time he walks in the courtroom, people are going to be whispering, saying, hey, that's the guy we saw on the news that said that he hates black women. He said black women make great punching bags. I mean, this is sad. And I know his Asian wife is punching the air because he's messing up the family's money. How many companies are going to jump on the bandwagon of not allowing hate? Is YouTube next? We shall see. This is going to be interesting. You know, these black men scream that they hate black women, but they love profiting from black women's pain. They absolutely love it. And it's the only way they can make major money, it seems like. Oh, I'm not telling the truth? Okay, I got a challenge for you. Only do videos on white, Hispanic, and Asian women for the next six months and tell me what that check looked like. I know what it's going to look like. Nothing like the check you're getting now. Yeah, let's move along because Chef Way isn't going to change anytime soon, okay? Now here is a tragic story. Look at this woman's face. The man that she gave birth to did this to her face. Now, what does the pygmies think about this story? They're not going to do this shit. Hell, this story is so tragic. I really don't want to do it, but we got to do it for black women. All right, let me get my notes so we can get to the facts of this story. So on January 7th of this year at 8.30 a.m., Melvin O'Neill, the son, he goes to visit his mother at her home with Kendra Hamlin. I don't know if Kendra's the girlfriend or just a friend of his. Anyways, the mother, Trina Daniels, says they were all laughing and having a good time. And at one point, the son and Kendra started arguing. So Kendra gets up to leave after a while. And she tells the mother, hey, I'm going to get your son later. Wait a minute. What is he, a latchkey kid? What the fuck? I think it's safe to say that these men are not getting better. They're getting worse. When you essay your mother, that's a whole nother animal. Nobody can fix that man. Let me continue with the story. So Kendra leaves, and the mother says that her son lured her into the bathroom. Once the mother goes into the bathroom, he proceeds to beat her with his fists, and he tells her that he's going to unalive her. God damn. Oh, but the nightmare doesn't end. He then decides to essay his own mother. Yeah, but you know black men's view on this? Oh, no, we don't want to talk about this. This is negative. We only can focus on the positive. Okay, 
If you can look at this picture and feel absolutely nothing as you stare, you don't have a soul. Or you sold the shit, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that ain't funny, but it's funny. It's videos here on YouTube of men talking about how they sold their soul. So this ain't nothing new. This ain't nothing I'm exposing. Is that why some of these black men are so numb to everything? I'm Star. Thank you so much for visiting the channel. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. And I will talk to you guys next week. Good night.